Okay, today's video is going to be a special video on the Jacob Iker Farm here along what is today Pumping Station Road. Now this farm actually dates back to around 1795 when Abraham Iker settled here along Middle Creek. Middle Creek is here in the distance and runs this way and Abraham had built a log cabin somewhere around the year 1795 and that log cabin was the first residence of this farm of the Iker farm. Now what has happened after that uh, Abraham uh, had died and the, the farm went into his descendants uh, Jacob Eichert and then of course later on John Eichert that's why it's called the Eichert farm today now Jacob Eichert when he uh, took over the farm from Abraham he had built a small house which would later become a summer kitchen and this was uh, built somewhere around the 1825-1830 era and the and the, and the uh, what is today the summer kitchen used to be the first residence after the log cabin uh, was was taken down it was probably around 1830 because they believe that the log cabin was taken down and the wood was used to build the barn this became the family home uh, and today there is still a bedroom in the upstairs of this summer kitchen this summer kitchen evolved even into the 1900s where there were mechanical uh, engines that drove pulley systems like you see here and turned items that would make you know uh, kitchenware uh, operate and and it's still here uh, on the Eichert property uh, also around the same time the barn was built as well as the smokehouse and we'll look at them in our next video this has been the Jacob Eichert Farm Part 1 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Okay, this is going to be the Jacob Eichert Farm Part 2 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And we're passing by the summer kitchen and then, of course, here the, the smokehouse. So the, the date of these buildings isn't uh, exactly known, but they're somewhere around the year 1830. Of course, as I said in Part 1, the original log cabin used to sit back here uh, along Middle Creek and then that cabin was torn down and the logs that were used in that cabin were then brought up here and they were used to make the barn and we're going to look at that barn in our next video but that barn is a historic barn it's been uh, recently as the whole property has been uh, restored um, and that barn uh, won an award that barn was built in the year 1830 um, and we're going to progress uh, through the early 1800s into the mid 1800s and up into the American Civil War this has been the Jacob Eichert farm part two here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and Gettysburg Battlefield ultimate okay this is going to be the Jacob Eicher farm part three here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and ultimate and we're looking here at the bank barn that was built in 1830 and this is what they call a Schweitzer Pennsylvania bank barn um, it was built in 1830 it's been beautifully restored and repointed um, and we're going to take a look inside the barn because we're going to look at the um, the logs that used to be from the original log house that sat out here by Middle Creek so let's go over and take a walk and I do have permission to do this from the owner who's right there And we're going to walk in here. And as we look at some of the, the old 1830 beams, when we get to the back here, you'll notice uh, beams that have notches that are cut out of them, like this one here. Okay, and these were the beams that were actually used from the original log house. Um, as well as some other wood um, and when that house was taken down the barn was built that the wood was just reused again
And we're going to take a walk upstairs here in the barn uh, to the threshing floor. Now this is the threshing floor of the barn and now it has begun to pour and rain out here. But this is the threshing floor and over here is an old grain room. And on the grain room it's hard to see in the dark but you can still see uh, where the the lathe marks in the wood were. Um, again, this is still used as a farm today. We're inside of the Jacob Weikert Schweitzer Pennsylvania Bank Barn. Um, and Schweitzer barns were some of the strongest kind of barns that you could build uh, in the early 1800s. This would have been the threshing floor down here, the grain room over here, and the wood that housed the grain room was also from the original house from 1795. So this has been the Jacob Eicher Farm Part 3 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and Gettysburg okay, Battlefield. Okay, this is going to be the Jacob Eicher Farm Part 4 here on Gettysburg Battlefield Ultimate. And as you can tell, uh, it has begun to rain and thunder. On our first couple videos, it was sunny out. And we are now walking over to the Jacob and Mary Eichert blacksmith shop. Now, Jacob Eichert was a blacksmith, and he built this blacksmith shop in 1853. And today, this shop is beautiful. It's used as an office, and it's got a big screen TV in it. It's almost like a theater where the uh, residents of the house can actually walk across the street and watch a movie. But... Um, this was the original blacksmith shop. Now, during the Battle of Gettysburg, of course, this structure was 10 years old. Um, at the escape of Lee's army after Gettysburg, some Confederate troops came back up this road and actually had their, their horseshoes repaired at this blacksmith shop. And you can see the original sign up here that said, J and M. A. Eicher built 1853. Um, and that sign was replicated by a modern sign out front here, which I'll walk over to. So this was the, the blacksmith shop of Jacob Eicher. Now the house, which we're going to look at in our next video, is a, is a little bit of a, a story in itself, and we'll look at an antique photo in that. This has been the Jacob Eicher Farm Part 4 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and Gettysburg okay, Battlefield. Okay, this is going to be the Jacob Eicher Farm Part 5 on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. We're going to stand here on Pumpkin Station Road and look at the house here. Now the house was built in 1866. It may have been under construction uh, during the American Civil War and even during the Battle of Gettysburg because it did take a few years to build, but the house was completed in 1866 and remains the only non-Civil War structure here on the farm. And actually there is a photograph of this house taken from this position, and I'll post that photo, around 1871. And in that photo you can see Jacob and his wife um, and as well some other family members. And next to Jacob, very hard to see, is John Eicher. And John Eicher actually lived in this farm. He lived to be about 95 years old. Um, and he died in the late 1950s or 1960s. So a lot of the story about the historical stories came from John Eicher. And in that photograph, as you look at the house, you, you will also see the, the um, summer kitchen at an angle next to the house, to the left of the house. But again, this video series has been the Jacob Eichert Farm, the barn, spring house, the smoke house, and of course his 1853 uh, blacksmith shop. Um, during the Get Battle of Gettysburg, uh, though both Union and Confederate armies passed close by this farm, 
uh, most likely the only troops that would would have been directly on the property would have been Confederate troops retreating from Gettysburg as Route 116 out toward Fairfield began to have a 17 mile uh, wagon train. There were some Confederate soldiers that came up here on horseback, cavalry soldiers, that had a problem with their, their horseshoes and had them repaired here at the shop. We know this because there is a, a log that uh, John Iker kept uh, from 1861 through the war of 18, in 1865 where people, local people in the town who had horses and had them uh, repaired or, or had items made for them, he kept a log of his blacksmith shop. This has been the Jacob Eichert Farm here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook and Gettysburg Battlefield Ultimate.